Oh no, now, guys, the police are here now. So now, the, pre the previous in the part three, she started, because basically her carers, are, her carers are down here and they're asking, what's, what's wrong? How comes you're sleeping on the floor? And she just flipped out on them. So now the carers can't do anything. So they've called the police. Guys, tell your children not to do drugs. Tell, say no to drugs. Because it will get you haunted on the next haunted mess. So now the police are here. Let's go and find out what the police are going to do. Because I think she must have forgotten her keys. So she, then they slept out all night. See, now the, now the police is knocking. Let's go and see what the police is going to say. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Regina, Regina, we've been here before a few times. Um, we want you to come into hospital so that we can start your medication again. We know you've come home since December and you've shut the door to mental health services. You're not seeing your care coordinator, you're not taking medication. This flat has no electric and no gas. We're not allowing the gas engineers to come and sort out the boiler. It's a lot of things not going well. So we want to support you. Are you able to pack your bag? I'm taking you to Sunflower Court. Regina, talk to me. Your, your, your family is worried about you. Ben is very worried. Regina, you need to and, interact with them, otherwise we're going to make the decision to take you. And, and see, I've gone to court. I've got a warrant to come and, you know, support you. This is your copy, Regina. You want to see it? So is it can you... Do you understand what this is? Yeah. Is there anything you want me to explain? Do you understand what's happening, Regina? Is there anything you want us to explain? Yeah? I think in a nutshell, they're saying we'll go to hospital. We're not interacting with them. You want to get some of your belongings? Or do you want the staff to do today? Someone took that walk then. Regina, we're taking you now to Sunflower Court. You want us to pack a bag for you? Regina, we're taking you under Section 3 of the Mental Health Act to hospital. Yeah? Regina, yeah. are you going to stand up and walk with us to the ambulance? Do you want to get any of your belongings that you need to say, change your clothes or something? No? What about if you get your care room? Did you pack you up some stuff? Take them with you and they'll make them with you. Give it to your care. Just put your drink over there. Come stand up. 
because you don't like the way I can tell you to be You're just going to end up hurting yourself. You did that to your friend, right? Um, careful, not to walk you away, but I want to give you a Let's go and check. Oh shit. Oh shit, you guys are missing the action. Yeah, they're sending it to the mental health now. I told you, she is fucked. She's got her private secure. Private jet. Look how many people it took to, to take her out. It's mud. They're going to let her out again. And she's going to do the same stupidness. I swear, this country is just happy days, man. Gee. They need to send her back to Africa or fucking one of the third world country. They need to send her to Rwanda or somewhere, bro. Fucking bitch about your heroin addict. No excuses for anyone, bro. No excuses. And even if you are, she, she's got people, yeah. She, she actually, uh, she's got people helping her. They came down to try and help her, and she just flips out on them. Right. Oh, now she's been taken away like an animal that she is. She should be ashamed of herself. Her fellow women are working hard to support their family. Her fellow women are building empires. And look at where she is.
She's just smelling up the whole place, drinking, just abusing life. Just taking the fucking piss. Look, it took so many people to get her out. Literally. Such a shame. So sad. Someone is wishing they had this life. Someone is wishing, yeah, there's someone in a third world country, you know, they're wishing they could come get a job, start working, paying taxes and all that. And this foolish idiot has got this opportunity and look at her fooling around, just taking the make out of society taking the maker of taxpayers' money. Stupid twat. Foolish twat. I hope she doesn't come back again. I really hope and wish she doesn't come back again. A stupid animal. Just wasting taxpayers' money. Useless woman. Oh, but she's talking about her husband. Her husband. Gee, this is mad. Because you know what? Yeah, I swear. Yesterday, yeah, when I was filming, I'm thinking, wait. See, when I'm filming yesterday, yeah. Gee, I thought to myself. Wait, is she pregnant, bruv? Because if she's pregnant, that is fuckery, bruv. That is actually sad. Because first thing, yeah, she's on crack heroin, yeah? Second thing, obviously, to be on this kind of drug, your mind is not going to be the same. So, straight away, look, just now she's they've sectioned her again for the thousandth time. Section three of the mental health. Imagine her having a baby, bruv. Where is that baby going to be? Who's going to like, like, baby? Like, she's talking about her husband, and it, phew, my God, she actually told the police officer to shut up. Told police officers, if you don't shut up, I'm gonna get my husband to fucking kill ya. <laughs> Guys, don't do drugs, bruv. I'm telling you, bruv. It's ultra haunted, bruv. Yes, yeah, fact. No, they were blocked off the whole road. Blocked off the whole road just for this crackhead. Just for this crackhead, bro. Blocked off. The whole road has been locked off. The whole road has been locked off, bro. You know what I'm saying? Right, when I'm coming through to, to, to my place, I need to go past the Camino, yeah? You see, since she lost the key, so now, last night, since last night, she's been sleeping outside. The community is smelling up the whole place. Jesus Christ, bruv. Gee, it's mad. It's mad. I keep telling the haunted community, but you guys think it's a joke until you go through the same kind of stress and then you will know. Her own carers tell me, yeah, that I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm haunted for even being able to live here, bruv. It's mud. It's mud. It's mud. Oh, trust me, it's bad.
Yeah, man. Guys, you already know. Stay tuned. Gonna bring you more updates on this crackhead heroin addict neighbor. Hey, champ.